Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you to use a kind of a nice utility in uh, console. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is this task list. If you execute this without any options, you'll see the task that means the processors running on the system. This was like the same view what you can get from the console that means uh, UI task manager but this tool has some cool features than that that because this V is same as what you get from the task manager and one thing is in the task manager these things getting updated uh, very frequently but in this case it is not but it will give a kind of a snapshot of a particular time if you get the details of this uh, get the help of task manager you'll see a lot of options are available and some of these using these some of information you can get more information than the task list task manager from the UI point of view let's see something uh, let's see something very useful thing let's see some some very useful thing first I will uh, open the notepad and you know that this notepad runs as a individual server let's let me get this uh, notepad if you cut if you have uh, watched my earlier video you know that the find command with the pipe you can get uh, only a particular item from an output here you can get the notepad and here you see that the PID is not uh, I suppose PID is not available so how can we get the process ID yeah it is there yeah, PID is uh, 2784 so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to load the modules of these uh, if you just execute this one you will see all all of the processors and the uh, dynamic link libraries which has been loaded the dynamic link libraries which I meant by the which I meant by this uh, module and you can put a filter with the process ID where the process ID equal uh, 2784 I suppose I, I was correct yeah it was the one so you can see each and every dynamic link library which has been loaded to facilitate the notepad.exe so this was the one thing and there are a lot of other options available with the task list and uh, the major thing you have to remember is this a uh, fi filtering the here it gives some uh, useful filter names that means uh, you can filter using the status image ID image name that means the exe name and the process ID session and you can uh, read this and get familiar with this and the valid operations for each of these uh, field names equal not equal and greater than less than like that uh, there are few options you can use so you can use the filters and you can use two filters as well for each filter name because there is no com that means composition uh, operations like and o o that's why it was there and sometimes you may wonder about the, uh, the kind of uh, uh, svn uh, host.exe what it does so uh, to get a more view about that let's get uh, image name is equal to svn host I suppose uh, I don't want the modules I want the task let's see yes we not it's not a service SVSC SVC yeah SVC service hosts the SVC uh, resembles the service host here it was quite nice that means uh, for the task list I have used a filter other than using and for loop uh, the find command on it it was it has put these things in a very nice manner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what this service services will be loaded with SCV services 
no SVC I suppose the spelling says SVC now you can see what are the services running on this particular service host it was an it was something new with the uh, window XP that was not there with the uh, window 98 so like this uh, you can use this <coughs> in a very you can uh, use this to get more details about the task running on your machine another useful command is this task kill which you can use to kill particular task it will be same as uh, this details will be same as uh, the uh, kind of task list but here what it will do is it will kill that particular item for example earlier we saw that uh, the notepad uh, is uh, 2784 I'm going to kill that particular in this using you can cr kind of uh, kind of stop a set of uh, kill set of processes at the same time I'm going to kill this uh, only this one to wait uh, 2784 2784 so here's the notepad let's see what will happen so you want a kind of a guarantee that uh, notepad got close I will put it in here so I'm going to use this one see the task has been killed and is make the commands of pro process uh, with PID 2784 has been killed so you you can use this to kill particular processors if you know it was a kind of a running in the machine and it was sometimes harmful or sometimes may stuck uh, other than going through the wind other the benefit of using uh, control over a GUI is that it was kind of a the response time is quite less and thank you all for watching this video